All right, so we're doing the um, arteries that supply all the upper limbs. So first, what we start with is the subclavian artery. Um, and then this has five branches off of it that we need to know. So it is vitamin C and D, that's my little mnemonic. So we have the vertebral artery, trying right knee. We have the internal thoracic. Then we have the thyrocervical trunk, which then that splits off. And that goes to suprascapular and the transverse cervical. It's very tough because everything kind of all sounds the same. And then we have the cost, costo cervical, and then we have the dorsal thoracic. So that's subclavian. And pretty much what happens is that as the um, artery travels down the body, right when it hits the, for ang the lateral angle of the first rib, it changes to the auxiliary artery. It doesn't necessarily change in depth or width. It's pretty much the same artery, but as it's traveling through the body, it's going to change name and actually changes again to the brachial artery after teres major, but we don't need to know that thus far. We will probably need to know it next week. But the auxiliary artery is, is a little bit tougher just because there's a little bit more names. Um, but um, our professor gave us a really um, awesome mnemonic that is screw the lawyer, save a patient. So here we have the superior thoracic. This guy is kind of a big one. Thoracoacromial. So then that splits off into pectoral, acromion, not acromion, um, like with an M, it's N. Um, then we have um, deltoid and then clavicular. So yeah, that it's just a branch of a branch of a branch, which actually is, it gets really confusing. And this is lateral thoracic. Then we have the subscapular, which then branches off again. Um, and that goes to the um, thoracodorsal and circumflex scapular artery. And the last guys are anterior circumflex humeral artery, and then posterior circumflex humeral artery. And the one thing our teacher loves to do is where is the anastomosis. So if something happens and there's a clot, how does the rest of the body still get blood? So there's anastomosis between these two. There is an anastomosis between thoracodorsic and uh, dorsal. Yeah, so thoracodorsal, dorsal thoracic. And then there's also um, an asymosis between circumflex scap and suprascap. And then I am think I'm missing one more. Um, circumflex and circum cir circumflex scap artery also does dorsal thoracic as well. So yeah, and that's pretty much it.